In 1908, the Cornish rugby team beat Durham to become county champions for the first time. 83 years later, on the 20th of April 1991, the Cornish team and an army of supporters went to Twickenham to try again. to be enjoyed, it's a party. And here we are. If we win or lose, we're going to have a day out. All you'll get from the Cornishman is love. What I see this year is that Cornish have always been underdogs because we're a small county. And uh, I, think, I think the way to go into any game is underdogs. It's just like the mines were known all over the world. We're granite men. We're hard men and we're fighters. And that's it, we're Cornish. I'm proud to be Cornish. by Cornwall is the first prize and then £25, £10, £15 and chocolates and other little things like that are prizes as well. This is where we keep the Wilder fans locked up in the <laughs> Thank you. Anybody else for travel tickets? Anybody else for travel tickets? <laughs> they are a very fine sign. Um, I refereed them and known them as people over the years and they are a very fine side indeed and I really look forward and feel that they can win today. I think Cornwall will play it very tight and only allow the ball out when it's uh, very obvious that they can uh, win or, or score but I think Yorkshire will look to make the ball go wide to send it out amongst their backs so that they hopefully can run the uh, Cornish forwards ragged but I don't think they'll be able to achieve that. We're all very, very proud of being Cornish and wherever I've been in the world, I've usually met a Cornishman who's also, you know, very patriotic and uh, it's a great thing to be Cornish. I think, as a referee, I've not really known what winning and losing is about. The feeling of winning, the elation that you see in people when they win, are absolutely unbelievable. And today, if, if we can win today, the spirit on this train on the way home and the spirit in Cornwall for the next three years is going to be quite something. It's a great pleasure to go to Twickenham. Every time I've been there, I've really enjoyed the occasion.
White stockings, white stockings, she wore. White stockings, she wore. The same as before. Going up Campbell coming down. What's happening to Campbell? That's right. That's right. Who's the scrum half? Good. And the prop? Keast. That's right. And what's the other one called? Me. Who's your favourite? Who's your favourite player there? Nanskibble. Is it Nanskibble the front scrum half? Great day out. Lovely day out. I got the missus with me, and we're all right. The boys have gone one way, I've gone another, and when we get home, it's a lovely day out. What I'd like to see is a bloody good downpour of rain, and then they meet us in the mud. Which all the men only was. If they run the ball, we've had our chips. But if they keep it forwards, we got forwards good enough to match say, any day of the week. If Cornwall won today, and I passed out coming on the train tonight, I should die happy. Between you and me, right? Oh, I'm off at work, right? Your it's, wife doesn't oh, know you're here. No, no, no. She's oh. going to lynch you, tell me. No, no, no. She, she won't know. She won't know. You really are going to get lynched now. Tell, have a great day. Cheers. <laughs> Put it here, Cameron Colours, my handsome, but we can help that. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Hey, cool. well, thanks yeah. a lot. All right. Turn around, 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 you're obviously, I mean, you'll, you, you'll have seen firsthand now what a bunch of gentlemen these Cornish chaps <laughs> oh, are. Right, they let yes. you live. And you're yeah. amongst them all sitting here saying uh, saying that Yorkshire are going to win, are you? Yes, that's right. What makes you think that? Oh, 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 I'm too happy with you now. What makes you think that then? Oh, we've got the much better side. Uh, I mean, these are sort of amateurs down here and they, they're coming up to the oh, real, oh, real team. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> let's, let's, just, let's just assume that you are right. You're presumably planning on coming back on this train. With well, you. I don't know. I don't know. I've got a, you know, a bus ticket as well with me, just in case. <laughs> so you might have to use it. <laughs> You're prepared to sit next to him as well. You're wearing a yellow and black jersey there. Oh, Obviously a Cornish right. girl. Yes, yeah. Somebody's got to sit next to him. Nobody else would, so, so I had to. It's a humanitarian move. It most certainly it? is, yes. Okay, a kind fine. gesture. <laughs> This year, it's just one of those things. You reach a point when it goes bust, and you go over a certain point, and it, the flood begins. And that's exactly what happened. And it builds up from sort of 20,000, and then I bring up the ticket office, and they say, "Yes, we don't believe it. It's just 30 now." Then I rang up and said, "Well, is it going to be over half? Yes, the record's going to be doubled." Said Richard Angus in the ticket office. It's going to be 40, 50,000, and then the next thing I knew, he said, "It's capacity." I said, "I can't believe this." He said, "No, we can't either." I haven't seen any York supporters. I, um, a colleague of mine saw three of them very recently as a Cornish in their black and gold scars all gathered and there was this beginning of a sea, this wave of Cornish black and gold scars and everyone singing oggy 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 and this, that and the other. Suddenly three rather lonely looking Yorkshiremen appeared, huddled together and one said to the other, if we stick together I think we'll be all right. <laughs> if you were a cool, calm, indifferent sort of person who was just interested in the rugby and couldn't care less who won, you would put your money 
if you're a betting man as well, on Yorkshire. The game can be divided, as you know, into forwards and backs. The backs being the race horses, the race horses, the, the pack being the cart horses, although these days they're meant to be fairly mobile cart horses. If Cornwall once lose the ball to the, to the Yorkshire race horses, with the likes of Mike Harrison, they will be in big trouble and there could be suddenly a lot of tries, a lot of points down. If they keep it amongst their forwards, especially the back row, um, and they just plough on like a, like, a, like a rather sort of um, a very fast tank, um, Yorkshire then could be in trouble. I think that's what Cornwall will do. Keep it close, and get to the other line, and then go for the, the close-in scores. Truth. I didn't expect the Gotham and see Cornwall win. Not with the side that Yorkshire had, but uh, you never know with Cornwall because they're a bunch of boys like Granite. First half, they run the ball, and they, being a Cornish man, it's sad to say this, that uh, they was a bit too good for us. Time come, I felt while well, they're going to, their tails are up now. We, a miracle got to happen.
thought the turning point was when he was at the little tricky try. Because I thought that the referee pointed to the post and it was a probably a legal try. Yeah, that put the grip right in them. That was. Then their tails was up then. I got a little bit cheesed off, I thought, you know, I thought, here we go again, another 80 years. <laughs> but, uh, then the boys started.
miracles do happen, and that was one that happened for Cornwall. This is like a dream.